thank you for always stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Please, if you haven't subscribed, could you please kindly click the subscribe button? If you have subscribed, Gloria Cheesy O is saying thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Today, let's talk about something that a lot of persons encounter and sometimes they do not know how to go about it. Now, why I'm making this video now is someone brought a message to me on WhatsApp how he has traveled abroad and he was deported. Even while abroad, he tried to get a meaningful job at least but all he was getting is well at the end of the day they deported him back he came back and he's now doing um is it electrician or plumber can't remember each either of them he told me so now even with the electric um, the job he's doing nothing seems to be working like according to him he's grateful to god yes at least he can feet at least but he's not married as it uh, he's not married at a, at a certain age all those like things are tight and if you know me very well i will always encourage you to hold on to god which was the first thing i told him prayer pray about it there is nothing god cannot do and sincerely speaking most times it's lost it's not like um we don't pray or people don't pray no we do pray he said he has prayed he has fasted in fact he said something that broke me but of everything he was saying he said money does not enter his hands unless the one he has is exhausted like when he works and get paid if at all he happens to get a job it's not like the jobs are coming like that if at all he happens to get a job when he works and get paid if he does not exhaust the one he was paid for to the last couple another one does not come in uh, the way he said it like he meant it it's not like um okay he worked five thousand that's my imagination no he works five thousand maybe if that five thousand is has not gotten to four thousand maybe nine hundred and eighty naira he will not get another job or if that five thousand is not exhausted completely ah, when he told me that i was just imagine my mind went far like not like i'm saying it's not possible but it's it hurts it's painful now let me talk about something natural we can always do alongside with prayer to god almighty like how we always tell us it is the lord that has mercy that has mercy on whomever he chooses to have mercy on that is why you need to align these natural things with prayers do you know that there is something you have in you you have been wasting that by the grace of God can change your life. It has changed a lot of person's life to the glory of God. What is this thing? Your early morning urine. Now, I want to teach you two ways you can use this early morning urine. One, if you are the type that you also experience, if you don't spend your last cover, another job will not come in or another money will not come in you need to do this if you are the type that feels oh everywhere is blockages everywhere is hatred everywhere nothing is moving you understand all those negative things you need to do this with prayers so also i will also tell us the second method on how to use this same early money urine and one other item to attract favor goodness blessings by the grace of god the first one is please i don't know i have always talked about us always having them ash is very good and important please if you can get it there is there is one great i don't know how to put it in ash spiritually ash is just very good early morning when you awake the last sleep when you know you're not going back to sleep again 
for those that we always ask which which one i wake up 10 times at night to urinate so which one the last one when you know you're not going to sleep again add a little ash to it now you are going to a little ash pray into this mixture and ask god because this is not normal it is not normal at all and ask god in his mercy to break every uh, stronghold that the enemy has placed upon you ask god to destroy their whatever whatever you know how and what to say you know how to pray pour your heart out to god almighty tell him that you are not replacing these things with him that you know he's the one that created these things for your own good he should use it please to open your way the, uh, sorry, this one is for letting out. That's the ash and the early morning urine. Now, when you are done, use it to wash yourself. Use it to wash yourself. This is not for Ajebos. It is not for Ajebos. This is for Ajebakos like us. Because some places will tell you, ah, how do I use this? It's a... Now, who never sees something? Now, instead they do is irritating me. May we not see something in this life, God, I beg. You understand? Now, use it to wash yourself wash yourself wash it clean um, no matter people that always ask oh it's not much can i add water you don't need to add water just dab it very well dab it dab it on yourself prayerfully now do this often as often as you can even if you feel oh things are moving the way you want in quotes no one has it all we all still have one thing or the other we are believing god for so no one has it all you can still do this once in a while now the second method you can use also and always prayerfully that by god's grace we have gotten lots of testimonies on because this is not the first not the second not the third time i am making this particular um i am teaching this particular method is same early morning urine do you know that you can add um sugar to your early morning urine you can add salt to your early morning urine this particular one is for goodness blessing now pray into it pray over it ask god that your life attracts goodness your life attracts sweetness your life attracts favor your business attracts good things this that 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 you understand what i'm trying to say and then also pour it on yourself prayerfully now these two mixtures it is better you do this when you know you're about to have your bath. You have your bucket of water ready for you or uh, to have your bath. You understand? Don't do this and come out of the bedroom. <laughs> well, choice is yours, Sha. Yeah? But what I'm trying to say is you are going to leave it to sit on you for like 5 or 10 minutes. The boat method and then you wash it off. Now let me answer the question of can we do the two at the same time? I would prefer you do one today, you do the other one tomorrow. Or you do um, the first one, the, um, that of an um, ash first, for some time or weeks, depending on how you want, want it. And then you do that of um, sugar and salt for some time. Just be interchanging them. That's just my opinion. You understand? Now, while you are at it observe your dream you are going to be having some revelatory dreams and all that it's important you observe and note your dreams maybe there in god will reveal the answer of what you need to do further try these two methods please with prayer believe and trust in god and i believe that by god's grace god in his mercy we use this to deliver you from whatever it is may god almighty continue to protect us may he continue to protect us from those who monitor us even when we don't monitor them may he continue to protect us from those we do not wish evil but they keep planning and wishing us evil may their plans continue to fail and may god continue to liberate us don't worry don't give up don't give up on god i beg of you because sometimes some of the messages i get there's this tune of, I have tried, I have tried, I, I, like you're about giving up on God. Don't give up on God. He will not give up on you. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Believe me.
believe me, believe me, believe me. It is only God that changes the story of a man. No one can change the story of another but God. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's no other person but Gloria Cheesy O. Thank you.